Welcome to the Simmer Summer Research Program. My name is PJ Oates. I'm the founder of Simmer and the faculty director. Simmer stands for the Stanford Institutes of Medical Research Summer Program, an intensive summer research experience that lasts about eight weeks in which students come and work in research labs here at Stanford We're working on hypothesis-driven questions. And in addition to that, they take coursework in various disciplines. It's very intensive. The students are expected to work really hard in the lab. Uh, and in the end, they have a superb experience. During the course of the summer. And the second is to determine whether or not you want to be a scientist. And so I'll start off just by taking you a little bit through the steps. My name is Nicole, and I'm a senior at St. Francis High School. This summer, um, I'm working here at the SIMR program. Um, and I'm working under two programs, uh, Digital Anatomy with Dr. Brown and Regenerative and Stem Cell Research under Dr. Helm. It's interesting to me researching cellular development at the facial level because I myself um, was born with a cleft lip and palate and so I have always had this interest. I've always been in the hospitals and with doctors and I just want to see the other side of the table. researching at the molecular level how cells come together or don't come together in the formation of the shape and how that relates to the brain or how it doesn't and so I'm pretty excited to start with that. On multiple levels, I hope that Nicole takes away from this the excitement that comes with scientific discovery and what a scientific inquiry means. The ability to be persistent, uh, the stick to that it takes to really accomplish research. And I guess the last, as I hope she understands how much of a team approach is required for science. Right now we don't know an answer exactly to what makes a cleft lip and palate come together all, or not come together. All we know is that the cells don't come together in the formation of the shape. And so if I could get anywhere closer to the answer of what causes any kind of facial uh, deformation, I would be completely satisfied, even just a micro millimeter closer. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.